Hi everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. So for today's video we are reviewing the brand new Pareto sunscreen product which is called the Daily Go To Sunscreen and it is a broad spectrum SPF 50 plus with a PA rating of 4. And if you've been around for a while now then you know that this sunscreen product has let's put it lightly, been long in the making ever since the Pareto controversy regarding their Centelic Green Level Save Sun product, which was actually independently tested to have a shockingly low SPF rating value than what was marketed on the product. So that product was actually marketed an SPF 50 plus, but it was independently tested quite a few times and the actual SPF rating value was 19. Shock of to all Cora. Quite the scandal, ouch. It really was shocking scenes in the skincare world because this product was a cult favorite because it was lightweight, it was fluid, it was non-greasy, it didn't leave a white cast, and it obviously had the Centella in there, which we all know and love. And we relied on that product to protect our skin. However, that product was actually underperforming. Anyway, fast track to present day, and Preto have been carefully formulating a new SPF product with new branding, new test results, and to basically say we're back, we can be trusted, and we can deliver. However, is this SPF what we've all been waiting for, or is it just a total fail. So before we get down into the nitty gritty of this product, the texture, the wearability and what I do and don't like about this product, let's have a look at it in general, let's have a look at the new branding and also let's have a look at the ingredients list. And also you may be wondering, Adam you look effing shiny or glowing, which one is it? We'll soon find out. And so here we have the brand new Pareto Daily Go To Sunscreen. And doesn't she just look absolutely beautiful? Like I'll zoom in a little bit here. And I just love the very minimalistic approach to this brand new sort of look. I love the font. I love the neutral colours. Like it is just kind of, yeah, I'm vibing it. It really does kind of just sit nicely on your skincare shelf to be honest with you. And so just the marketing information on the back of the packaging, just to give you a general idea of this product. So the daily go-to sunscreen smoothly glides onto the skin, delivering strong and effective protection from UV rays. Formulated based on both chemical and physical filters, this fragrance-free sunscreen has a lightweight and fast absorbing texture, making it comfortable for every use. So that is actually really interesting because instantly off the back of this new launch, Pareto said we're not even gonna include a fragrance and a fragrance-free version like, like they did with the Centella Green Level Save Sun. The fragrance one was really sort of like very strong in lavender scent. Um, it was kind of very overpowering. So really great that they have just basically been like, we don't need to add fragrance into this product and really suited for sensitive skin types as well. And also another really interesting note is that it is both chemical and physical filters. So that is what I like to call a hybrid sunscreen product so it could potentially have your you know your standard chemical filters in there octocrylene octinoxate and um, but it also could have titanium dioxide or zinc oxide in there so we'll soon find out the ingredients list and in terms of the actual product packaging itself it is very very similar to the other SPF products that have now been discontinued from Pareto so when you kind of like twist the cap it really does look identical obviously just with the new brand in here um, um, but yeah, really simple, elegant kind of packaging that we all loved with the Preto products, sunscreen products. <laughs> and in terms of product size, it does come in at 60 mils or 2.02 fluid ounces. And that is pretty much a standard size for a sunscreen product. Yes, obviously you can have um, sort of like smaller volumes of sunscreen products and also larger ones as well. But sunscreen products don't last a long time in general, really. <laughs> and in terms of directions, Pareto state that you need to apply this generously and evenly to the face and neck 15 minutes prior to sun exposure. Reapply every two hours with exposure and immediately after swimming and extensive sweating. So just by reading that, I don't think this product is waterproof, but I will have a look on the old internet 
and um, state in the description box down below if it is waterproof or if it is. And I did purchase this sunscreen on the day of launch from YesStyle. It was around 10 to 15 pound, I can't remember. But what I'll do is I'll link it in the description box down below of all the available retailers where you can get this product from. And so in terms of sunscreen filters, of course we have the hybrid mix of the chemical and also the physical filters. So with the chemical filters, you've got Juvenal A+, Tynosorb S, and also Juvenal T150. And with the physical filters in here, we have titanium dioxide. So yeah, a really great bunch of reliable and trustworthy sunscreen filters in there. Of course, we have the next generation chemical filters and also the titanium dioxide. So that will just offer broad spectrum SPF protection. SPF protection? <laughs> Sun protection. And in terms of other fantastic skincare ingredients in this product, we have that staple Pareto ingredient, which is the Centella Asiatica leaf extract in there. We also have the Asiatic Acid, uh, Madicoside, and also Asiaticoside in there as well, which are all just fabs fantastic at being antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties as well. And if you want to know more about Centella Asiatica and the different compounds, then check out my uh, Skincare Secrets of Centella Asiatica video, which I'll leave linked in the description box down below. And so that is pretty much the star class ingredients in this product here. Of course, you've got your standard emollients, your humectants, um, and your emulsifiers and obviously your preservatives to make it um, safe for you to use. And so now moving on to the SPF rating value. Can you trust this product? Can you restore your faith in Pareto? And absolutely yes you can. Because Pareto have been actually testing this product in the US and also in South Korea. So I'll pop a picture on screen here of the result. But in the USA testing um, lab, it actually came back as an SPF rating value of 71.5. And in South Korea, it came back as a 57.4 SPF rating value, which is just absolutely incredible. And I know there are slight differences from the US to the South Korean um, result. And I'm not going to sit here and pretend that I know why there is that such big difference. But as long as we all know that it is an SPF 50 plus, it's higher than that, then that is is good for me. And so in terms of texture, it is actually very, very, very similar to the Green Level Safe Sun. It has that um, lightweightness to it, it has that creaminess, but it still has that kind of like wateriness to it as well. So um, let me just squirt some out of my hand here. So yeah, very, very similar to the Centella Green Level Safe Sun. Super, super lightweight. and. It is actually sliding down my finger there, as you can see. And yeah, it just, it's just so, so nice and lightweight. It travels really, really far, so it is very fluid and it will have really good coverage on the skin. As you can see, it does need a little bit of working in, probably spend, you know, a few minutes working this into your skin, but yeah really really nice and even though the texture of this sunscreen product is really nice it's lightweight but it has that creamy hold to it it's fragrance free and also it has some strong sunscreen filters in there the downside to this product is the finish and i say that because i just don't think this new sunscreen product appeals to a wide target audience and that is because it is quite greasy looking and it feels very very wet um running down my finger like that i'm just like woo <laughs> like it is slippery and with that in mind reapplying this product every two hours it builds up on your skin and by the end of the day i'm just like i need to get this off me it's not uncomfortable but you can definitely tell and you can definitely feel that you've got a sunscreen product on you and i just don't think oily skin types would appreciate this because most of the time they want a matte finish i've got combination skin and I do want that dewy, I want that glowy look but I kind of don't want to be heavy, I don't want to feel greasy and I kind of do feel like this product does make me feel like that. Dry skin types, I think you'll absolutely love this, especially going into winter but 
not all skin types would, would like this product unfortunately. However, this product is still a really good sunscreen product. A product that I wouldn't repurchase just because of the finish of it, but I am excited to see what Perito developed with their two other sunscreen um, products, that full mineral one and that other hybrid one or full chemical one. I'm not too sure about that one. Um, but yeah, the branding's on point and I'm so happy that Preto are back in the game with their sunscreen products. So yeah, I really do hope you've enjoyed this video. Please do give it a massive thumbs up and also comment down below if you have tried this new sunscreen product. So I will see you very, very soon and thank you so, so much for watching. See you later. Bye-bye.